Dietary iron is found in our food in organic forms, which are ferrous iron in heme, which is better in absorption. Also, there is ferric iron compounds. Firstly, organic ferric compounds will be broken down in the gut to inorganic ferric iron, but heme will not be broken because it is easily absorbed, as we will see now. Iron will be absorbed through the microvilli of the enterocytes of the duodenum. Ferrous iron in heme will enter to the enterocyte through a receptor called HCP1. Once ferric iron reaches the cell surface, it will change to ferrous state due to the presence of ferri reductase enzyme. Then it will enter the cell through a protein called divalent metal transporter. Iron will come out to plasma, is controlled through ferroportin. It will be oxidized to ferric iron. A transferrin, which is a protein carrier, will carry iron. Transferrin is used in iron transport. It can contain up to two atoms of trivalent iron. Transferrin-related lab investigations include serum iron and total iron binding capacity. In bone marrow, stem cell undergoes cell divisions, forming erythroid progenitors as erythroid colony forming unit till reach the first recognizable erythrocyte precursor in the bone marrow, the pronormoplast. Transferrin will go to the RBC precursor, where it will bind to the transferrin receptor on its surface. Transferrin receptor is also called CD71. The iron transferrin transferrin receptor complex will enter the cell. Iron is left there while transferrin and its receptor return again. Extra ferric iron will be provided from the ferritin in the RBC. Note: Iron move in and out of the ferritin according to the body needs, as ferritin is the site of iron storage. Ferritin is water-soluble iron protein complex used in storage of iron. It consists of an outer protein coat called apoferritin, in which too many atoms of ferric iron are in it. Now let's return to our topic. Ferric iron will be reduced to ferrous iron. Protoporphyrin will be formed in the mitochondria. Each protoporphyrin molecule contains four pyrrole rings. Iron will go to mitochondria to unit with protoporphyrin to form heme molecules, which go to the cytosol. Then globin will be formed from amino acids in the cell. Globin is of two types, alpha and beta. Alpha and beta globins will unit with the heme to form a hemoglobin molecule, which contain four units, with two alpha and two beta globins, and four similar heme molecules. The RBC precursor will undergo divisions till it become an RBC in the peripheral blood. Lifespan of an RBC is 120 days. After that, it goes to reticuloendothelial system, mainly in marrow, but also in the liver and spleen. Macrophage will eat the RBC. Inside the macrophage, RBC will be broken down. 
Some of the ferritin will be partially digested to form hemosiderin, which is a partially digested aggregate of ferritin, but it is water insoluble. Globin will be amino acids, while protoporphyrin will be bilirubin. The iron will go to plasma and provide most of iron on transferrin.